All right, welcome. Uh, today what I want to show you how to do is evaluate this expression n times n minus divided by 4 plus 3. So the main important thing we need to understand is, you know, we have some variables and we have some values for those variables. So I have a variable n and I have a variable m. Now usually with variables we don't understand, you know, what they represent. But in this problem, what they have is they've given us the values for the variables they want us to use. So what we're going to do is we're going to substitute in those values for our variables and then use the order of operations to help us solve. So let's now replace um, the values of our variables uh, in for the variables. So rather than writing m, I can now write negative 4. And rather than writing n, I'm going to write negative 10. So actually, you know what? I'll utilize my colors here. So... Ooh, that's kind of bad. So you can see when I represented or substituted them in. Okay? So you can see that. Let's write this here. negative 10, and that is a negative 4. So what you can see is I plugged in the negative 4 in for the m and the negative 10 in for the n. Now what I need to do is follow my order of operations. Now the order of operations can be pretty complicated, but also pretty simple. So follow me, please. Order of operations is very easily remembered. It either has a p or a g. I'll talk about that in a second. E-M-D-A-S. So the P means parentheses, all right? That means what we're going to look into first is our parentheses. Now, it also could mean G, which means grouping symbol, which also includes brackets. But sometimes we just like to say parentheses because we like PEMDAS, so we bring, group, we bring brackets with us. So that's going to be your parentheses. The next one is going to be your power symbols or your exponents. Those are going to be the next um, problems you're going to do next. M stands for multiplication and division. These are together. The main important thing we want to make sure we always do is always do those operations from left to right. And the same thing, addition and subtraction, it doesn't matter which one you do first, just make sure you do it from left to right. So looking at this problem here, I know I have to do it inside the parentheses, so I'm going to forget about the negative 10. I'm just going to reduce with inside the parentheses. Now I look here, do I have any exponents? No, so no other exponents. Is there any multiplication? multiplication or division going on. You could say, yes, I'm dividing right now a negative 4, and let's just kind of keep this in our symbol. I'm dividing right now a negative 4 divided by 4. So let's complete that first. Negative 4 divided by 4 is going to be a negative 1 plus 3. Well, if I have a minus a negative, I can rewrite that as a plus. Okay? So I'm just going to rewrite that problem a little bit. It was a minus a negative 1, I rewrote it as a plus 1. Then the next thing I look at inside of parentheses, is there any addition and subtraction that I can do? Well, yeah, there's actually two of them. Well, I need to make sure I do it from left to right. So now, negative 10 plus 1 is going to give me a negative 9 plus 3. Then I can complete this set. Negative is going to give me a negative 6. See, be careful. If we would have done the 1 plus the 3, that would give us 4. Um, and actually, this one, the addition, you know, really doesn't mat actually matter. This one we lucked out. Whew. Um, but anyways, I'm still going to get negative 10 times uh, negative 6. The negatives cancel out, and that's going to give me a positive 60. So when evaluating um, this expression, just make sure you follow the rules. Always go from left to right when you're doing multiplication and division and addition and subtraction. But then also make sure we always look inside the parentheses first, and then look for the exponents or the powers. Thanks.